Yo, what's up? Ezra here from EzraSlate.com. Today I want to talk to you about how you can earn money on Pinterest in 2019 and beyond. First, subscribe to the channel so I can share more ways for you to make money online. And if you want to know what I'm doing to make money online, what's working for me, then click the first link in the description of this video and I'll get you that information. Full disclosure, I'm testing it out, okay? So when you click on that thing and you check it out, you'll see what's going on, all right? Just just go check it out. All right, so we're trying to make money on Pinterest this year, next year, and every year after that, and here's how it's gonna happen. First thing is obvious. You need to go ahead and set yourself up with an account. You can get a free account at Pinterest because they're all free, and I would suggest that you set it up as a business account. And if you would love to get a great profile going, then go to udb.com and search for a free Pinterest course that's gonna help you to set up your account and have your account looking just spectacular. In order to have a great looking account, you need to have boards and you have to put several pins into those boards, all right? So when you first start your account, you're not gonna have any content. I suggest that you just repin everyone else's content that, that's popular stuff don't try to make your own pins, all right? You wanna do maybe 10 boards, make 10 boards, all right? And then inside of those boards have at least three, four, five pins in them, all right? And they could be on different topics depending on whatever niche that you decide to jump into, okay? So if you get into fashion, you could have men's fashion, women's fashion, uh, you know, clothes on a budget, whatever, I don't know, just, you know, do that 10 boards, three or four pins per board, all right? Make sure your profile is full, fill out the description so it looks good, okay? Next thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you're signed up with an affiliate program so that you can promote products and make money. I suggest that you get involved with the Amazon affiliate program because it's free, pretty much anyone can get signed up with them. Um, unfortunately, like the pay isn't very great with them. However, they have pretty much any product you can think of promoting for whatever uh, niche you decide to get into. So if you're in health, they've got, you know, they got bands that you can promote. You can, uh, you know, review products, create bands. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say, but Amazon's got tons of products that you can promote. If you want to do digital products, um, like courses and things of that nature, I suggest ClickBank. You can use ClickBank. You can get tons of products on there to promote uh, through your pins, all right? So after you have signed up with an affiliate program, you wanna start creating your own pins, and those pins are gonna have your affiliate link uh, connected to them. So they need to be relevant to whatever it is you are promoting. So uh, if you make a pin talking about the best, um, I don't know, the best way to make money online, then you would have your affiliate link be to a specific course for making money online. One that you think is gonna be uh, actually useful to the person, that you don't wanna just you know spam crap out there because uh, it's not gonna work, it's just not gonna work, okay? So you can either pin directly from the, uh, the product itself, so what I'm saying is like if you go to Amazon, you get the photo and then you just pin it directly to one of your boards or you can create your own pins using something like canva.com, which is a free online software. Uh, you can create beautiful pins. And you know, again, I would suggest that you try to find a free Pinterest course that can help you to kind of learn the, 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 the more of the details about how this stuff all works, all right? How you can create these beautiful pins uh, without spending a ton of money or getting some graphic designer to help you do that, all right? So you've got your account set up, you signed up with an affiliate program, uh, you're starting to pin and repin everyone's stuff, all right? So you, you're gonna start getting traffic, people are gonna start seeing your things, and, and the way that that happens is through the next step, which is having good descriptions, all right? Good descriptions because the, Pinterest is essentially, it's a search engine, right? People go there, they're searching for something, and if you have good keywords in your description, if you have relevant keywords in your description, people will find your pins, all right? They, they will find your pins. And when they find your pin, they'll click on your link, and then you'll be able to have the opportunity to make a sale, all right? And then you make money through Pinterest, okay? So make sure that your descriptions are good, make sure you've got the, the right keywords, in those descriptions, 
and make sure you're telling people that it's an affiliate link or at least have some kind of disclosure so that people are aware that they're clicking on affiliate link. For whatever reason, people get a little weird about that. I don't see why. It's not like it's affecting them in any negative way. They're still going to pay the same price. They're just uh, the company is just going to give you the referrer a little bit of money. So I never understood why people have a problem with affiliate links. Maybe someone can help me out with that. Why would you be pissed off if someone gave you an affiliate link? You know, I mean, unless you don't want to support that person, that might be the thing. Okay, and uh, the last few things to talk about: make sure that you're pinning often. Okay, Pinterest loves uh, consistent action. They like it when you are pinning other people's uh, popular pins or just other people's pins in general. All right, it really helps you out as well. It gets you suggested in other people's things, and uh, you'll turn up more often as well. Okay, but don't spam your own content. No one likes a spammer. All right, it's very, it's like the old golden rule: you don't spam. Don't spam. Don't go to Facebook and spam. Uh, don't go to YouTube and spam. Don't go anywhere and spam stuff. No one likes spamming. Okay, got that? All right, so and then just to wrap this thing up, I got a few things here. Uh, again, don't spam. Write great descriptions. Uh, declare that it's an affiliate link. Repin others' stuff. Repin the uh, popular content. Uh, let's see, be consistent. Don't give up, all right? Don't give up. That's the big thing because when you give up, you lose. All right? So that's it for this video, guys. If you want to earn money on Pinterest, follow those steps and you'll be successful, baby. Anyway, I'll see you guys in my future videos. Peace.